we should avoid deforestation and plant more trees for the next generation. My name is Takuzwa Ashlim Lambo. I am the CEO and founder of Forestry and Citrus Research, which is a youth group uh, here in Zimbabwe, which is spearheading the Greater Green Project, uh, an initiative to plant and monitor our 1 billion trees in Zimbabwe by 2030. We are using precision forest technology in form of a plant master software that we are using to monitor the planted trees across Zimbabwe. I have got a background in agriculture. I studied uh, agriculture, specializing in animal science at the University of Zimbabwe. Uh, when I was staying uh, in Chitungwiza at my aunt's place, I saw that uh, there was a guava tree there, and uh, the tree seed, the guava seeds uh, were just uh, germinating without being taken care of. So what I did was to put uh, those uh, germinating guava, um, uh, guava trees into plant pockets. So just by doing so as a hobby, we just saw that it was um, a, a, something like a project that we can uh, uh, maximize at a larger scale, helping other peoples uh, to plant trees. By doing more research, we saw that uh, uh, currently uh, the world is being affected by climate change issues. So we managed to find uh, an avenue to put uh, this initiative into the climate change space uh, by addressing climate change issues, uh, trees sequester more carbon, um, giving, um, reducing more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Currently, the UN has, de has actually uh, declared 2020 to 2030 as a decade of restoration. So in 2020, we thought of magnifying the project. Uh, and getting into 2021, we um, launched the initiative to plant uh, 1 billion trees across Zimbabwe. So what uh, this project uh, how it is structured, it is uh, put into three phases, uh, which is phase one, phase two, and phase three. The phase one is uh, the development of capacities and engagement of stakeholders, which runs from 2020 to 2022. Then from 2023 to 2025, we will be developing uh, nurseries in collaboration with primary and secondary schools. We are targeting 5,000 to work with 5,000 primary and secondary schools, which are our nursery hubs, and we have launched um, the Greater Green Club at East Wise uh, Junior School uh, so that we can do our nurseries at large scale. I became a member of the Environment Club last year and I really like how it influences um, how people should take care of the environment. Here at school they taught me how to plant different types of seeds with different types of method. So, so far, um, my family and I, we have planted over 10 trees and yeah. At the Environmental Club, we learned, we learned that trees are important because t trees cool our houses, our streets and our cities. Trees gives us oxygen that we breathe in and trees, trees, are, be trees beautify our houses in our schools. The project is focusing on indigenous and exotic trees. So in under exotic trees, we are focusing on the fruit trees, like uh, your mango, your lemon, your oranges, your peaches, your natchez, and these can be grafted trees or non-grafted trees. So we are working with nurseries uh, to establish th these trees uh, as our partners. So these are important uh, in terms of uh, food provision. Um, you know, uh, we need, the population is growing, we need to compensate um, our nutrition uh, with, uh, with fruits. So this is one of the things that we can uh, get from, from these trees. We are also focusing on uh, indigenous trees like uh, your nyi, uh, your mtsubu miyach. Again, this is, uh, these are nutritional sources uh, for our health. Uh, but also we are focusing on fodder trees, um, which are for livestock, for livestock uh, production. For example, acacia angstissima, Lucina leucocephala, these are kinds of fodder trees that we are also uh, planting. 
Nowadays, uh, it is important to have uh, different kinds of trees uh, at, a, at a particular, at a particular uh, place. Uh, they call it associated uh, reforestation, uh, so whereby many trees are being uh, planted at, the, at a particular place. The advantage of that is that, uh, at a, for example, let's say at a household level, you are able to get uh, many benefits uh, from different varieties or kinds of trees. You are also even to be able to, to harness a, a diverse of organisms. Some organisms also uh, favor, for example, uh, to be associated with moringa trees, for example, bees for honey production. Um, then other, 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 other animals um, can also be associated with other types of trees. So these are kind of variety enhances the biodiversity at household or farm level or even at forest level. Looking at my own area, it's actually a plot that I have. So all along, for, for, for the past, I think, uh, 60, 70 years, my parents and my grand-grandparents were farming on the same piece of land. So it ended up being unproductive. It's very sandy and unproductive. But uh, when I planted the first four Moringa plants, I could see that they could grow even in the sandy soil. So then I decided that if I were to just put a lot of Moringa plants in there, uh, with the, the roots as they grow into the soil, maybe they could actually help actually resuscitate the soil as well. And I understand the leaves of the Moringa tree also have some, some nutrients. So as they fall to the ground, they may add to the fertility of the soil. So the roots of the, of the plantation of the plants as well as the leaves will add to the um, conservation of the soil, even resuscitating it so that maybe it may become fertile again. So uh, I encourage uh, many people at different age groups to engage in afforestation and reafforestation programs like the one that we are currently undertaking, the Greater Green Project to plant and monitor 1 billion trees in Zimbabwe by 2030. You can be part of this project so that you derive the benefits that, um, that include uh, uh, um, uh, selling of uh, fruits uh, for income, uh, uh, for your incomes, uh, getting uh, fruits, um, uh, eating them for your health benefits, and also even export or value addition.